Today, I will present the process of individual tree isolation from terrestrial laser scanning. Through this lecture, we will explore the concept of tree individualization from point cloud data, discuss its importance, delve into the challenges associated with it, and discover how the tree ESO algorithm of cloud compare works. Individual tree isolation involves isolating individual trees from point cloud data obtained through terrestrial laser scanning. Tree isolation, individualization, segmentation, and extraction mean the same things. This process plays a crucial role in various applications, such as accurate forest inventory, resource assessment, forest management decisions, insights into forest dynamics, and biodiversity patterns. Estimation of forest carbon stocks, assessment of habitat quality, improved forest modeling, and simulation and advancement of remote sensing applications for large-scale assessments. Moving on, let's discuss the challenges related to tree isolation when using 3D point cloud data. One of the main challenges is occlusion, where overlapping foliage from surrounding trees obstructs the isolation of individual trees. The complex forest structure, with dense vegetation and diverse tree shapes, adds further complexity. Non-tree vegetation can also interfere with tree isolation. Variable tree shapes such as irregular or complex crown structures pose additional challenges. Data quality and noise, including limitations, gaps, and noise in laser scanning data, also need to be addressed. Lastly, the processing of large and complex data sets adds complexity to the task of tree isolation. To overcome these challenges, the tree ESO algorithm of Cloud Compare comes into play. This algorithm is based on a segmentation technique called cut pursuit graph. In this technique, a point cloud is represented as a graph, where nodes represent point attributes and edges represent connections between points. Therefore, Isolating or segmenting point clouds can be visualized as a cut at the graph edges. The cut pursuit graph algorithm follows a multi-step process, starting with graph construction. The point cloud is transformed into a graph representation, where each point serves as a node and the connections between points are represented as edges in the graph. Next, costs or weights are assigned to the edges based on features such as point density geometric properties, or contextual information. These costs capture the similarities or dissimilarities between adjacent points, aiding in the differentiation of individual trees. The algorithm then aims to find a cut in the graph that separates the points into individual tree components. By minimizing the total cost of the graph cut, the algorithm identifies the optimal boundaries for each tree. Once an initial graph cut is performed, the algorithm iteratively pursues further cuts to refine and isolate individual trees. This iterative process considers the assigned costs and adjusts the cuts accordingly, enhancing the accuracy of tree boundaries. The resulting tree components obtained from the graph cut can be further refined and delineated using geometric and contextual information. This step ensures the precise delineation of individual trees, ultimately defining the final tree boundaries. Now. Let's shift our focus to the tree ISO plugin, which employs a hierarchical grouping of clusters. The plugin follows a four key step process. Firstly, the ground points must be removed from the raw point cloud data. Next, the initial segmentation is performed using the 3D cut pursuit technique, resulting in small clusters forming meaningful patches of branches and crowns. In the third step, the 2D cut pursuit technique is applied for intermediate segmentation, refining the clustering process. Finally, the final tree segmentation is achieved, providing comprehensive and accurate results. For more theoretical details, there is no paper better than the one below. But how the tree ESO works? The process initiates with an XYZ point cloud, and it follows a two-stage cut pursuit clustering approach. This method capitalizes on the understanding that trees exhibit two levels of scales. A branch level with a high 3D freedom of variation and a whole tree level where the 3D freedom reduces to approximately 2D because of the uniform upward growth direction of trees. In the first stage, 
The tree point clouds are isolated into small clusters in 3D. Each cluster's XYZ coordinates are utilized as input, while the inverse of the nearest distances determines the edge weights for the cut pursuit clustering algorithm. This initial segmentation yields meaningful patches of branches and crowns, setting the foundation for further clustering at the individual tree level. Next, the centroids of each cluster are extracted, and the 2DXI coordinates of these centroids are subjected to the cut pursuit algorithm. This second stage segmentation utilizes the connectivity between clusters to merge them, ensuring a computationally efficient process. By applying certain thresholds and discarding long edges, the algorithm progressively refines the segmentation. To address the over-segmentation caused by the second stage segmentation, a global connection step is introduced. This step employs global rules to connect larger clusters known as segments, which are close to individual trees but may be horizontally separate due to gaps or irregular edges. By considering information from the nearest neighbors, including elevation difference to length ratios and various measures of proximity, the algorithm merges non-stem segments to their nearest stems. This merging process continues until no non-stem segments remain resulting in an accurate and comprehensive individual tree segmentation. In conclusion, the tree ESO algorithm, based on the cut pursuit graph technique, is an invaluable tool for isolating individual trees from terrestrial laser scanning point cloud data. Its multi-step process ensures accurate tree boundaries. Now, let's do a demonstration of tree ISO in action using Cloud Compare. In the Resources section of your course, you can find the data that I will be using for this demo. I will showcase two case studies, one involving terrestrial laser data, which is relatively straightforward, and another involving aerial litter data, which presents a more complex scenario. Firstly, ensure that you have the latest version of Cloud Compare, specifically the June 2023 release. You can download it from the official Cloud Compare website and the installation process is straightforward, similar to previous installations. Once you have Cloud Compare installed, open the point cloud dataset generated by terrestrial laser scanners. You can find the data in the resources section of your course materials, This particular point cloud contains 14 trees, and our objective is to verify if we can accurately isolate all 14 trees using the Tree ESO plugin. To access the tool, go to the plugin menu and select Tree ISO. This will open a window where you will also find the original research paper on Tree ISO. If you're interested in the underlying theory, I recommend giving it a read. Now let's proceed with the segmentation process. The tree ISO algorithm employs three levels of segmentation. Initial segmentation, intermediate segmentation. For this initial test, it is recommended to keep the default parameters as they have been optimized for this specific point cloud dataset. The only parameter you need to modify is the decimation resolution which can be increased to speed up the processing time. Once you've made this adjustment, click Execute and patiently wait for the algorithm to process the data. Repeat the same steps for the second and third segmentation steps. And when finished, click OK. At this point, we can examine the results of the segmented trees. If the rendering appears unclear, 
you can activate the iDome lighting effect for improved visualization. In the Properties menu, you can explore the initial segments, intermediate segments, and final segments. which represent the isolated trees. To separate the trees into individual point clouds, select the final segment scalar field and split it into integer values. Upon performing these steps, we initially obtained 12 trees instead of the expected 14. This discrepancy occurred because four trees were incorrectly merged as two because of their close copies, making it difficult for the algorithm to differentiate them. To address this, we will rerun the process with an adjustment to the regularization strength in the second step. This modification will prevent the merging of these smaller segments. To verify the results, we will once again split the final segments into integer values. And there we have it. We now have all 14 trees accurately isolated and beautifully displayed. This demonstrates the effectiveness of the tree ESO algorithm in individual tree isolation from terrestrial laser scanning data. It showcases how adjustments to parameters like regularization strength can improve the accuracy of tree isolation. Now. Let's explore a second case where we will use an aerial point cloud to observe how tree ESO performs on this type of data. Although tree ISO is primarily designed for terrestrial laser scanning, we will assess its performance on aerial point clouds since they are more commonly available. The point cloud we will be working with covers a forest area in the mountains of the United States of America. You can find the point cloud data in the resources section of your course materials. To enhance the visual aspect, I exported the z-coordinate as a scalar field and calculated the illumination to create a sense of depth in the visualization. However, due to the large size of the point cloud, I will crop a smaller area for processing purposes. Next, we will use the cloth simulation filter to extract the ground from the point cloud. It is recommended to increase the classification threshold to ensure that all ground and short vegetation are effectively eliminated. This step helps in focusing solely on the trees that we aim to isolate. Following that, the statistical outlier removal filter will be applied to eliminate isolated points in the ground, as our goal is to isolate the trees themselves. Removing any remaining noise or clutter will prevent them from misleading our results. With the pre-processing steps complete, we will run the Tree ESO plugin.
Adjustments will be made to the decimation resolution and regularization strength in both the initial and intermediate segmentation steps. Increasing the decimation resolution helps expedite the processing time, while adjusting the regularization strength can enhance the accuracy of the tree isolation. And there we have it. Here are the results of the tree isolation process. It's important to note that they may not be perfect initially, but with some parameter adjustments, we can fine tune the results to achieve the most suitable outcome based on our specific requirements. This highlights the adaptability of the tree ESO algorithm for aerial point clouds, even though its primary design was for terrestrial laser scanning. By experimenting with different parameters and techniques, we can optimize the performance of tree ISO on aerial datasets and obtain accurate and reliable tree isolation results. In conclusion, the tree ESO algorithm for individual tree isolation from terrestrial laser scanning data offers valuable contributions to forestry and ecological studies. By accurately delineating individual trees, tree ISO enhances our understanding of forest ecosystems. It enables precise analysis of tree characteristics and supports informed decision-making for sustainable land management. The use of tree ESO aids in improving forest management practices and provides valuable insights into the dynamics of forest ecosystems.